Hi, I'm John Urban, Product Marketing Manager at Biamp, and this video is an overview of the RESTful API in our SageView software. SageView is a browser-based monitoring and management platform for Tessera and Devio devices, providing a single, comprehensive view of system and device status. In IT speak, it's a network monitoring system for Tessera and Devio. If you're happy with the web interface we've developed, that's great. However, if you already have a network monitoring system in place, you may want to consider incorporating information from SageView into that using our API. So what is an API? APIs are libraries that allow users to access the software's capabilities programmatically without the need for a user interface. You can pull data from the system to check the current status or value of properties and settings, known typically as get statements, and in most cases push changes to the system as well, using put or set statements. So what can the SageView API do for you? In short, a lot. Almost all the features in SageView's UI can be accessed through the API. At last count, there's more than 50 API calls in our help documentation. Another point to consider is that you can automate API calls. For example, if you want SageView to update firmware at 3 a.m. and don't want to be awake for the excitement, you can create a script to implement the API call and then use a scheduler to run the script at the appointed hour. You can also upload files programmatically for certain API calls. File uploads are done using the MIME multipart method, regardless if there is a single or multiple files. So where does REST come in? REST stands for Representational State Transfer, and it's primarily used to build web services that are lightweight, maintainable, and scalable. Without going too far into the weeds, a RESTful service is a common framework for making calls to an API. It's also important to point out that the web service is stateless, meaning neither the sender nor receiver retains information about the other. REST is not dependent on any protocol, but almost every RESTful service uses HTTP as its underlying protocol. If you'd prefer to encrypt your RESTful calls, you can do so via SSL and HTTPS. Now for the fun part, reading API documentation. But seriously, regardless of your skill level writing code, we recommend starting with the system not currently in production, using GET commands only. You must log in successfully via the POST API slash login call before you can push or pull data. The login API call returns a login ID also known as a session ID, that must be submitted to every other API call you make to verify your account status. All API calls return status code 200 upon success. For more information about our API, check out our help site at sageview-help.biamp.com, which is the site that I've been showing on screen for most of this video. System requirements. SageView installs on Windows 10, 32 or 64 bit. You can deploy it anywhere you like, a virtual machine, a desktop. Tessera devices need to be running 3.6 firmware or later, and Devio devices need to be running 1.3.4 firmware or later. Oh, and you'll need a web browser. As you can tell, we're very excited about SageView and hope you will be too. Please contact your Biome salesperson for an in-depth demonstration or to answer any questions. Thanks for watching.